Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Enjoy your reading. So, guys, this is now a quick recap from our last chapter. Look at her in the eyes. Weren't you going to get food? When Swan asking uh, Curtis, you went out saying that you are going to get food. Where is it? They were having too much fun, and little by unconsciously summoned me. Oh, that's true. Sorry. So why is she blushing? How could I be mad at you? That is not possible. And all of a sudden, she started to feel very cold. She is shivering. Don't catch a cold. Winston gently hugging her. She's just like, okay, all right. I'm not going to get to catch cold. Well, guys, this is now the beginning of our new chapter. Let's see what will happen in this new chapter. So, it's raining. And we can see Saint Zachary and Mitchell standing. I don't know why he's breathing like this. He's really mad. We can see a hoof hoof going on. Maybe the necklace. Useless piece of junk. He take off the necklace. It's raining heavily. A month of dormancy has pushed him to his limit. In the past few days, colossal beasts have been sent to the city of Beast. Yes, there has been no sign of an attack. Saint Zachary still doesn't understand why. So he was expecting those beasts to wipe the beast city this happy beast is evil plan has failed again like all of a sudden he is manifesting the colossal beast had is in chaos it seems the colossal beast king has fallen and they are now competing for the throne momentarily distracted from killing so they are fighting among themselves huh all right all right I underestimated them, didn't I? 
so he's transforming into his this form or not but i can see the thing out Mitchell is just there behind helpless i think he also want to run away but he cannot it the rainy season now should we go after biting thing so he threw the crystal to Mitchell Father, I'm just worried. When have I ever wasted time on what I want? This guy is just too much. In the past, I was too cautious and didn't want to arm Curtis, so I was detected again and again. I can't wait any longer. If I can't capture Curtis alive, I will just kill him. So that is now his final decision. To kill Curtis. If he cannot get what he wants from him. You don't need to concern yourself with this. Going there is a death sentence. Stay hidden in the crevice. Crevice. And I will return when it's done. Why the mood suddenly shifted? Even I can't withstand those defenses in the city of beasts. To father, they are utterly irrelevant. So you are letting him go there alone? That's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Bye!